My beautiful theme, it's Halloween theme. I usually have Grumpy Cat, but I am a very festive person. At the moment, it's Halloween. And uh, recently, a lot of people have been sharing the things they add to their Chrome apps. So I would like to show this with you. So let's go. So my first page is usually full of all the uh, Google apps and the things I use the most. I know that through Drive I can get to forms and slides and sheets, but I like to have them all there. I think it's much uh, more easy for me to use and easy to locate and reminds me of stuff. Sometimes I forget about Google Drawings, for example. Um, I use Blogger for my blog and Google Plus I use for a lot of professional social networking. My next favourite tool is MoveNote which is where you can input a uh, Google slide or PowerPoint presentation and then it shows up on the screen probably taking uh, you know about two thirds of the screen up and then on, the, on one side it has a small video of you and you can record yourself talking through the slides. This is really really good for if you're setting, setting cover work, if a student misses the lesson for training it's really, really a fantastic tool. I have a student who asked me he doesn't want to do his essay because he finds essays really hard. I said he's welcome to do a move note as long as he has lots of referencing and lots of credible information in there that he's found. It's fine to do a presentation. I've asked him to do a move note so that I have a record of it um, instead of him just coming to see me after school. Brain Pop, we subscribe to Brain Pop UK and Brain Pop Espanol at our school videos to introduce a huge range of topics. I think it's aimed normally at primary school but actually grades 7, 8 and 9 really like it. It has loads of useful um, useful videos for different information literacy and research things from plagiarism to copyright to how to do good research. Powtoons is where I make lots of fantastic animations. They recently did a fantastic offer where um, educators could sign up and get the pro account for free so I'm excited to use that. It's really really easy, little drag and drop. Same kind of way that you'd make a PowerPoint presentations that have music and things move. EasyBib we use for referencing, so we use MLA, which is free for EasyBib. I also use a lot of the EasyBib um, videos, especially in our li new library site, because they're really, really useful explaining things like in-text citations. Google Drawings, not enough people use Google Drawings. I find it really useful to um, put images into my docs. Um, I use it a lot for collaborating with my partner who's a graphic designer so I'll draw really rough sketches in Google Drawings or maybe use it to show a layout of a poster I want and then he'll make the poster. Um, it's also useful for students for putting graphs in, um, for brainstorming, Google search obviously I have here, Google Maps of course because there's no other map which is as good as probably iPhone users know. Um, Lucid chart, making charts, very very good. I can use this as much as I should, I want to start using it much more. Next page, I've put Google Classroom on here, but actually this is my personal, well, my professional um, email and Chrome. So I use Google Classroom through my school account. Um, but yeah, it's going really, really well. There's a few glitches on there, but students are enjoying it. And it's really easy for giving feedback and returning work to students. Um, Google News, Pocket for bookmarking. I have a few bookmarking ones, actually. Um, World News, I've probably changed the order of those, actually. Knights of Knowledge, I believe, is just starting, and it's um, sort of philosophical questions or questions to make kids uh, ponder different things. So let's have a look at social studies. What should schools look like? So it's a great question you ask a student, and then it has videos underneath. So how much schooling is enough? It asks things like, why do we go to war? Lots of generic stuff. You could actually make a site very similar to this. Um, I'm going to speak to our theory of knowledge teacher about doing something similar. Um, it does have some good questions, it's a good way to start, but it's not a very developed site yet, but I, I still like it. And let's go back. For some reason the internet goes slow when I'm recording. I don't know why that is, maybe I'm just not I'm less uh, impatient when I'm recording. Not recording. Uh, Quitty is basically just Twitter, but uh, on Chrome. There's a few Lego ones, so building Lego models, 3D models with Lego bricks. Um, building but using Google Earth as a base plate, which is really cool. Go animate for schools, this is very similar to um, Powtoons, but has some recognisable historical figures. Uh, it's very American based, but can be useful. Diogo Web, the social bookmarking site, which I need to start using. I've actually been doing most of my um, pointing out of good websites and articles in uh, Google Sheets, and then having tabs for different topics, or tabs for different subjects. 
I do want to start using Diogo at some point. Ancient History Encyclopedia does what it says in the Tim. Harvard referencing, I use Harvard for my masters, but we use MLA at my school, but I still like to have it there. Um, all of Shakespeare's texts, uh, lots of uh, free to read books, so how to copyright books. Next page, this is stuff I want to start experimenting with. Pit Monkey, I used to use a lot um, for editing photographs, uh, it's really, really good. I've also downloaded uh, Ribbit, I'm going to just move that up there, which is supposed to be a very, very good photo editor. Um, this is a free graphing calculator, which is useful. Um, I like this one today in history. It's quite American centric, and I'll show you. But I quite like it. Do, do, do. It tells you what's happened today in history. Um, it reminds me of the very good Twitter feed, which is all about the Second World War, and it's sort of in real time, but you know, X amount of years later. Um, quote book, I usually use the website Quote Garden, but I've started using Quote Book as well. Um, interactive periodic table, science blog. Science blog is kind of based for younger students, but I find it quite useful. Dewey bookmarks, it doesn't add Dewey to, uh, it's not really for adding Dewey to bookmarks, but it's for tagging your bookmarks. And Code Academy is one of the tools that we use when teaching students to code. And this last page is um, educational games. So we are looking a lot more at educational games in class. GeoFever is not really yet. It's in development, but I'm excited to use that. Manga High, we're using the free subscription at the moment. Um, I think Manga High is absolutely fantastic. Really good high quality games. And they teach everything from trigonometry to Pythagoras to all sorts of things I've never even heard of before. And it goes up to supporting students of age 16, uh, around 16. So I've put some language ones in here, Mem Memrise, Busu, Duolingo, Learn Japanese. Um, these educational games are really, really good. Some are learning English terms through uh, crosswords and kind of uh, different games like that. And some are more advanced, like learning about the human body through trying surgery. Um, there's some kind of old arcade games that use maths. Uh, I would recommend looking in the web store and experimenting with some of these things. This page and this page are ones I don't use enough and want to experiment with. Um, these ones are ones I use quite regularly, especially this page. And lastly, Crash Bandicoot and uh, my personal yoga trainer. That's kind of more secretive. Again, if you're not used to adding stuff to the Chrome store, if you go to the web store here. It's divided into sections, so it has productivity, education, games, things that are popular. Um, and you can just search for things. It's some of the things that you'd find on iPads and Android phones and stuff aren't there yet. Hopefully, um, they will be there at some point. And hopefully, they'll keep adding more and more. The quality does get better and better. Um, I'm seeing more and more exciting things that I keep thinking, oh, I want to try that one and this one, and keep hearing about more and more fantastic apps. This one class dojo I'd recommend for primary school teachers. Oh. And yeah, you can just browse through. And again, if you want to change your theme, you can go through here. For extensions, the only one I really use is Ad Blocker, which just means that I have no pop ups when I go to places like Facebook and uh, the news. It doesn't have loads of adverts. I think that's very, very useful. If you have any questions about um, Google Chrome uh, extensions, apps, or themes, please drop me a message and have fun.